the name of this Iron Fist. Other Iron Fist happened during the year 1500s. Just like other Iron Fist, this female warrior back in the 1500s, she was skilled with swordsmanship. Naturally, just like the other Iron Fist, she should be able to blast away a city if she wanted to. If she's anything like the Danny Rand Iron Fist that we know of, even if she doesn't show him doing it, she was kind of in possession of the same power that even Danny has. Unless uh, Shalot was way weaker back in these days or something that we don't know of. Can infuse arrows with chi manipulation. Seems to be physically not normal human when it comes to leaping very far distances, causing all of that destruction on her own. Is it me or do all Iron Fist love wearing green clothing? Or am I tripping or overthinking? <laughs> I'm just saying. This Iron Fist was basically known as the Pirate Queen. Even as a young girl, she was difficult to handle. Boxing folks up with even as a young girl, showing agility. She took many beatings over the many years, but yet her spirit never broke. Despite her being a girl, she got harsh training from men, big men, they say, showing agility and such. She did the classic Iron Fist stuff, fighting the ancient dragon to get the power of the Iron Fist, Shao Lao, the Undying. Some people wished her dead. Some wished to see the next Iron Fist. Chest against the Undying's chest. Apparently, none before her has failed the beast as quickly as she did, apparently. But afterwards, she emerged the Iron Fist. You see her fist, and you see it on the thigh. She was skilled with her chi enough to put her chi in literal rings. So you had to do what you had to do to survive. Beat people up for money. That's when she started picking up bows and arrows, like I mentioned earlier in this video, and started infusing her chi with her bow and arrows and stuff. Just like Danny Rand, she can infuse her legs with the Iron Fist attacks too, implying she can use her legs and fists lit up at the same time while attacking different folks attacking her at the same time. Just straight up bullying these people, kicking them with the Iron Fist. Literally on that pirate lifestyle about that dough. Taking power by four. Under my rule, she said. They didn't listen, so they tried to gangbang her fighter at the same time. She has enough fighting speed to kick them all away. Even if it's a whole room and all of them are armed with weapons. Like literally waves and waves of them. She somehow got captured by all of them people. She conveniently didn't spam her Iron Fist here for some reason. I don't know why. It's some goofy writing. She did her technique with the bows and arrows. Infusing her bows and arrows with chi energy. Iron Fist energy calling the lightning from God. She can destroy ships with this, as you can see. Being outnumbered again this occasion, this time she said, forget this mess. Iron Fist punched him in the face, evidently destroyed the whole ship, beat the heck out of those pirates, then head back to her ship. And that's how it ended up being under her real, real rule. She took it by force. She was allegedly the last woman to carry the Iron Fist. This is more of a different type of Iron Fist rather than just being a pure superhero. She ruled with benevolence, protecting her people with tyranny and oppression. Yeah, she was a different type of Iron Fist. She should be comparable the other iron fist she seems really adept with her abilities having chi coming from her legs and feet at the same time stuff advanced iron fist users like danny rand does and all the nine yards respect the pirate queen i don't think the comic showed it either but technically she should be able to imbue her fist along with her sword with iron fist energy or chi energy if she wished to as well i mean she did infuse her ring with chi energy she should technically be able to do this with her sword as well probably sliced with extra cutting power